anonymity to both Mr. Justice Edition. I would like to say hello to all my viewers. I mean, some of you do. People that you watch, thank you. People who don't, whatever. If you're new to it, well, it's basically just a uh, hot take video. It's, uh, usually I started doing it for my friends um, just to keep up date with what's new with me. Um, I decided to make it as a show and um, maybe I'll get some new people to that will actually watch some people know and I know I'm boring but I do it because I enjoy it I enjoy doing videos and uh, you know it's a beautiful day today and I thought I'd do a show and we're uh, I'll get into today's show be mostly about um, copyrights and I'll tell you about that in a minute when I was on this beautiful day I went for a walk and I uh, I was thinking about um, I was talking, if you watch my shows, I talked about copyrights. One of the biggest things, you know, I, I mean, I'm all for people, you know, companies like movies, companies, I know they put a lot of money and effort into a movie. I understand that. But um, I think a lot of these people, a lot of these big shots that make these movies, they don't seem to kind of understand how things are now. Things are not exactly the way they were back, you know, back at 10, two, three, four years ago. I mean, people go to movies all the time, you know, because they, they love sitting there with their popcorn and their pop and, you know, in the sound and all that. But, but you gotta understand, progression started to change when they started making full flat screen TVs. They did it because the flat screen TVs are supposed to give you that movie theater look. You know, you've got your high definition high definition sound, you've got your, you know, you've got your flat screen TV, I mean, they made it to the point to make it where people will feel more at home, you know, watching the movies than they would be to go to a theater. So way back then, they, they made that idea, okay, you know, why go to a movie theater when you can watch it in your own home? But if that's true, then why do you have copyrights? Why do you have to protect yourself from money? Well, that's, you know, that's, you know, things happen. When people get shot up in this movie theater, it kind of changes the way things are. If you're not unfamiliar with that, some crazy guy went up and shot up a movie theater in Colorado. And now when I go to a movie theater, I cringe. I cringe. Every time I hear a noise, I feel, I get freaked out. And Patricia to me, that is not fun. It's not fun for me to sit for two hours wondering you know, what the hell is going on outside the doors. It does not interest me one bit. You know, I know it's, you know, I know it's not legal to, to have a movie or to find a movie, but you know, I think the United States of America, the people got to understand things happen. People are going to do this because they don't feel safe going to a movie theater no more. Not to be disrespectful, but that's just how it is. Here's something that um, a lot of the companies can do. Paramount, some of the movies, you know, they always have companies that make movies. What they should do is they should have what's called projection screen, you know, on their website. So let's say I make a movie called, you know, how about the movie called Creamer? I told you I wanted to make a movie called Creamer. Let's say I make the movie Creamer, and it's, and it's, it's brought up by Touchstone Pictures, okay? So Touchstone's Pictures gets its first ever horror movie. Now, I, I understand that people would go to the movie theater to watch a movie. Nobody really does wants to. What I would do is I would have Touchstone's Pictures make what's called a projection screen on the website. So what happens is when you want to go and you want to watch the creamery, what you would do is you would go in there and you would go and you pay whatever the price would be, whatever the ticket price would be. That would give you access to get into the screen room where you'd be able to watch the movie. Now, they would say, well, what about if people go and they try getting it on their TV? Good luck. It's called a projection screen. You can watch it on your computer because it's not huge. But when you, by the time you try to put it onto your TV, it's all fuzzy. And the reason why it's fuzzy is because it's a projection screen. You can have it at a certain amount, certain amount of, you know, you know zoom before it starts to get all fuzzy. But that's the whole point of it. And you're buying it, you're getting it off the website. You know, and, and that's 
one would be. Now you won one, you're not using your money, and two, people are, are buying the movie. They're just not buying it. They're just not going to a movie theater to buy it. You know, and that's a good way to make money. But of course, the, 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 of course, the people that make the movies they don't understand that. They think you should run to a movie theater and you watch it. What's the difference? You pay eight bucks sitting in your home, or you pay eight bucks to go into a movie theater. It's the same thing. The difference is you feel a little more secure. I think the point that I'm making is that if people take stuff, you can't get all pissed off. You shouldn't blame the people. I mean, it's totally understandable. You know, I don't. Somebody doesn't feel comfortable being in the movie theater. It's totally understandable. You, if you sit here and say, "Well, this guy took this, and this guy took that, this guy took this movie," well, you know what? It's understandable. You know what? How can somebody feel safe knowing? that, you know, some crazy guy shot up, shot up a movie theater. You tell me that people feel safe at knowing, after knowing that two planes crashed into the Twin Towers? No. You know, the people that died in it, the people that died in that, in that thing, you think people feel secure, people feel better? No. Do I feel secure and better than these people that are caught, these bombers? No. Because the bottom line is, no matter how it is, this world's going to continue to do what it's going to do. It's going to continue to to have problems. And it's going to continue. You know what? People are going to sit there and they're going to watch TV and they're going to find out, oh my God, you know, this happened, you know. Oh my God, that happened. Oh my God, this this guy shot a bomb back there. And, and you don't, and you know what? It's going to continue and nobody's going to understand it. You know? You just you think, well, oh gee, you know, a guy, a couple guys bombed it. Oh well. You know, it's over. But it's not over. It's just, it, you know, it's stupid. But, um, on the aspects of the, of the copyrights, you know, I think they got to understand things happen. People are going to sit at their homes. They're going to watch the movie. They're not trying to take from anybody. They're just trying to make it so they can be able to feel comfortable watching a movie. And if the companies have any problems with it, when you go to release the movie, instead of sitting your phone into DVD all the time, I'll go out and take the movie and put it on my website. You want to watch this movie, you go to the website and you watch it. You pay whatever amount it is. Why do you need to make all DVDs? Because you try to make money. Why do that? Take your movie, say, you know what, you want this movie, you can get it off the website. ParamountPictures.com, TouchstonePictures.com. Go to there to get it. Why? Because in this way you're making money and you're not, nobody's taking anything from you. But I know you guys are just too stupid to know that. You guys think that if you get mad and people take stuff, they peep stuff because this world is not, is not sane anymore. That's the problem. So, that's as far as that goes. But, um, I just, I just don't believe in all that mambo jambo. So, I like to say to people that are technical, I'm not going to be one of these people who's going to sit here and run to a theater and, and, and wonder what's going on outside the door. You know, I can't sit and focus on a movie. I can't sit and pay attention to what's going on. I'm sorry, it's just not me. But you know what, I will definitely go and I'll get a movie and I'll sit down and I'll watch it in the privacy of my own home. And let me explain something to all the companies for you. And I want you to understand, you can sit there and say, well, this is not me. Well, it's not the point. It seemed to me that people wanted you to be able to watch your movies at home. Why? Why would you go from a console TV to a flat screen TV? Why do you need high definition sound instead of standard sound? Because you want to make it so people can enjoy a movie in their home. Because there was nothing wrong with console TVs. It's just people wanted to make money off of those. Why not go get yourself? Why would somebody get a 60-inch color TV? Simple. Because they want that movie theater experience. That's why. Yeah, I'm going to go and buy myself a 60-inch color TV. Just, for, just because I want to watch Roseanne on it. No. I bought a 60-inch color TV because I wanted to be able to have that movie theater experience. So 
you know what, for the longest time you've been trying, people have been trying to do stuff. The only, you know, getting these movies is just kind of the icing on the cake. It's like, okay, cool. I think what they need to do is they need to buckle down and say, okay, guess what, we'll have these movies, we'll have them available for people, but we're going to go out and we're going to have them pay for it on, excuse me, on the website. So the website, okay, th these are going to be Paramount Pictures, Touchstone Pictures, you know, whatever it may be, whatever the company is, excuse me, that makes the, the sound, makes the show, that's the company that you would get the movie on. What would this do? You know, there's a lot of things in the year 2013 I just don't get. I can't believe people still go to the grocery store to get groceries. I thought they were, that everything would be, you know, UPS or FedEx to ship to you. Why, you know, why would you need to get out of your house and drive all the way down to there? I thought, you know, everything would be bought online. You know, your food, your drinks, your, your personal items. Why would you have to get up and leave and go outside? Unless you went outside for fun. Makes no sense. In the year 2013, you still got to go and do this stuff? Boring. And in the year 2013, you actually still have to run to a movie theater to watch a movie. You can't sit in your own home. Because you know why? Because of money. You can't sit here and just enjoy your movie without somebody crying because they, because they put too much money into it. Well, that's their problem. You know, it's called the entertainment business. You're telling how about all the people... Think about how about the people that make sitcoms on TV? All the people, the, the things that they have to do. How about how about soap operas? All the money that they have to pay these actresses and actors. And this this is just for free for an hour. So don't give me that line of crap that they're crying these. Oh, we spent so much money. Yeah, well, guess what? That's the way it works. It's called entertainment. You know, if you're not gonna you're not gonna settle to the plate and do what you do, that's your problem. You know, that's how it is. But, um, you know, this world is, shows us, shows me that entertainment is, is in your home. You know, you have flat screen TVs for the movie theater experience. You got DVDs, you know, which should be now, I don't even, I can't believe you have DVDs. You know, I, I thought you guys would have download. You know, you would have people downloading these movies to their uh, basic disc or to a basic thing. And then watching it on their TV. Why in the world would you make somebody sit there and have to buy a DVD? And as long as you have DVDs, you know, I don't feel sorry for them. Don't blame the companies that do this. Blame the companies that produce these videos and put them out on DVD. Do you really think I'm going to spend $25, $30 on a movie I've never even seen before? Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, yeah, that's, just, that's just stupid. You know, okay, I like the movie Oz. You know, I'm not going to go and spend $30, $40 to see it one time. No. But I would go and, I would go and you know, rent it, record it to a disc, watch it, if I like it, to keep it. It just people are stupid. They just don't seem to understand quite get it. You know. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break. We'll be back. we got some more coming up on this topic. We'll be back to this breakfast with Jeff. Welcome back, everybody, to Breakfast with Jeff. We were talking a little bit about copyrights and all that stuff. I know I've been talking about this like crazy, but I was just getting my opinions on this. Um, we've been talking about, you know, movies. We've been talking about why people would take movies from companies and do all this stuff. Because a lot of people think, well, they're doing this because they shouldn't be taking these movies, blah, blah, blah. It's one thing if you take a movie and you just do it for the fuck of it. And then there's another reason why you actually, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, I'm going to get this because because I'm just for the hell of it, you know, just for it to sit. I would get a movie, I'd watch it, and if I liked it, you know, yeah, you know, I'll tell you the truth, I would go and buy the disc if I liked the movie, but I'm not going to spend, you know, to tell you the truth, why would I spend $30, $40? I can take the original, put it onto a disc, and I got the original there. Why would I spend all that money? That's just the point. You know, and, you know, if you want to blame anybody for people doing this stuff, blame the world. Blame the United States of America. They're the ones that did this. This crazy guy goes out and does this stuff. He screwed everything up for all these people. I mean, you know, I can understand perfectly if a guy doesn't want to go to a movie because of what happened. I don't blame him. 
Why would you want to sit in the room, a darkened room, where you have no idea what's going on outside that room? Not me. I have better things to do. I got too much things to worry about. They ain't worth it. You know what? You guys said you guys stepped up to the plate. You guys went out and made these flat screen TVs. You guys made it where people can sit there in, in their homes and enjoy movies, enjoy shows. So why in the world are you so surprised that people are going to want to go and take those movies and watch them on their, on their own TV? You know, I understand that, you know, these people make money and they spend a lot of money and invest a lot of money into it. But like I said, you've got to go out, put the, you know, you can take it to the company, have them put the shows on there and charge a certain amount of money to watch them. Why should you have a movie theater? In the year 2013, I can't believe there's such a thing as a movie theater. I thought you'd, you'd have a website that would have the movies on there. Let's say drive-ins. You know, drive-ins, they do a good job. They have three movies per night. But what happens when it's winter time? What I would do is I'll take the movie, I'll still air the movie out, I'm going to put it in a private screening room, put the movie onto a, a, regu a regular file, and then take that file and then put it onto it, and I'll have, you know, I'll go onto it, say, say it's uh, movie8.com, and then you'll have six different, six different little um, screens, which would have six different movies that you can watch. So even though that the place is closed, you know, the location's closed, doesn't mean that the, the place is closed. You know, people can, this is good for people who want to order stuff, you know, right away. You know, say, okay, we're going to, still at dusk, we're going to go ahead and start the movie. So that way you can go and get yourself something to eat, something to drink. You still have that opportunity. But, like I said, when you're to the, but in, in the world we live in, it's all the same thing. You know, you just sit there and, and we still have these, still have to go to the grocery store to get groceries. We still have to, to deal with DVDs and CDs and instead of just, you know, having something simple. You know, you guys make these flat screens, but, you know, if someone wants to, to you know, enjoy something on that TV, it, it's ridiculous. You know, I'm really going to buy a 60-inch color TV just to watch Roseanne or or the 70s show, or some stupid show. I'm just saying, nobody buys that big of a TV to watch TVs like that. Sorry to kill you. In aspects of copyrights, I think it's pathetic. You know, you know, we got to understand, people don't do this because they're just trying to be ignorant. They do this because this is the way the world's gone. And you can blame the United States of America for this, because you know what, they don't pay attention to this stuff. You know? They don't, they don't pay attention to this stuff. It, it's, it's, like I said, a lot of shit comes and goes. You know, just like these bombers. These bombers, they come and they're gone. Nobody will think much of it. You know, nobody pays attention to stuff because you guys are too busy in your little world. I think you guys gotta start getting things under control more than worrying about if somebody might have popped a movie in their DVD player by mistake. You gotta get over it. There's much more important things to worry about. So what do I say to somebody who says, okay, you took this, you took that. Well, I look at it this way. You know, you sit here and you blame people for doing stuff. And I think you need to really worry about getting things done. And that's all I can say about that. You know, you need to get up and get things done. And, uh... You know, stop worrying so much about what people do, because, you know, things happen, you know, when, when that guy shot those people up in that theater, it, it, it put a slap in the face to all those people. And all the people say, that's what, they don't want to go with something like that, they don't want to deal with something like that. They're not doing this to disrespect the people that work hard in the movies. They're doing it because they have nothing better, you know, they have more important things to worry about. You know, I mean, it's one thing, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say this, it's one thing to get a movie and you want to watch it, you want to see the movie, you want to watch it, but it's another thing where you just get the movie just because you can. You know, you can sit here and say, well, I'm going to get this movie, I'm going to try watching it. No, I'm going to get this movie because I want to watch this movie. And if I like this movie, yes, I'm going to go out 
And I, yes, I can go on and I can copy things, or I can go out and get the original in the case, which to me, if you're a collector, you wouldn't want to get in the case. You wouldn't want to get, you wouldn't want to get a DVD that's, you know, in some little piece of paper, especially if you're a collection of that. So that's as far as that goes. So um, now we're gonna do some advertising. Um, all the stuff that I use advertise on my shows, I use. I do not. I do not advertise stuff that I do not use. That's stupid. Um, we make video converter is one sponsor. Um, it does AVIs, MP3s, um, M M MP4s all kinds of stuff and uh, it costs nothing it's free just go to w just go to freemake.com and download you can download the downloader which i do use the downloader too it's great for downloading stuff from youtube i use the freemake video converter and i think on my computer i also do have the audio converter as well that's good if you happen to have a file that has um, a different type file type and um, also we got um, another program I use. Uh, another thing I want to say, and this is unrelated to anything, um, if you're in the, you know, Wisconsin, Baldwin, Wisconsin area, um, local areas around here, I, um, it's getting time for karaoke. And I already pushed the karaoke thing because I want people to understand. And I want to, um, I do have a website called um, karaokewithjeff.com which you basically can check it out. It's got pictures. And that, the reason why I like to do it the pictures is because my system is not exactly professional. It's more home body. Home body means I don't have big, big amounts of money invested in my equipment. So it makes it a little bit better. And it's good for small parties. It's good for graduations, birthday parties, stuff like that. Um, another thing I've got several summer music that have over 2,500 songs plus and they grow each and every day um, so basically if you are having a birthday party and you want entertainment you can hit me up just go to uh, um, just go to Jeff Jeff.com check it out and uh, what that will basically do is it will basically there will be a uh, contact information in there you simply just fill it out and they will send a message to me and I'll get everything taken care of. Um, another thing that I advertise is Storm Radio, which is a, the radio station that I DJ. Um, Tuesdays, tomorrow will be Tuesday to play. Two songs of your favorite artist. So if you happen to want to hear a song by a certain singer, you'll hear two of them. Um, but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the stuff I'm talking about um, advertising. All the advertisements that I do, like I said, um, I use. I do not pawn stuff off. I don't get paid to say, well, this is this, this is that. Everything is what I what I say on my shows, I use. So, just to let you know. Um, for some of you that are new to um, my shows, I want to let you know a little bit. Um, Breakfast with Jeff is a, is a morning type show, something for you just to kind of watch, you know. Um, I, I do do Blip, I do do YouTube, so if you want to check it out, just go to YouTube. My username is Jeff, it's my name, Jeff Sigsworth. Um, also, um, I also have Jeff's Journal, which is basically an on-location show. Anytime that I go somewhere or do something, I'll be on location. So you can check that out. Just check your just check your social networks to see what's next. Um, bitching out is usually where I just rant and rave about something. It's not good for kids. I, I do swear a lot in it, so basically you don't want to you don't want the kids to see that one. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of shows I have, and if you can check them out, I will put the videos on it and I'll label them just to let you know. Um, what's going on there? So um, that's as far as that goes. Um, I want to say 
And we just like to say thank you to Sam. The reason why I say thank you to Sam is because she's kind of like the director, producer. She's the one behind the scenes who, you know, if it wasn't for her, like I said, I wouldn't have a cam. I wouldn't be able to record and do my shows. And she's very, very upstanding about all that stuff. And she also gives me some ideas of what to say and stuff like that. So now we just always got to acknowledge her. Um, but like I said, that's as far as that goes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm going to kick myself off. And the reason why I'm going to kick myself off is so sometimes I start to get kind of stopped and I don't want to understand, remember what I'm going to say. And I don't want to drag it on, but I do, I do want to get something off before I, I do kick off. Um, to people that watch the shows, they probably ask me why I do this. I do this because I enjoy it. You know, a lot of people, I'd say about 95% of people have to have digital cameras, which is fine, they're nice. But I like video cameras, I like to go back to, I like to sit there and I like to go back to that time. See, so that's that's the big thing with me, is I love to be able to go back to that time. I like to be able to say, okay, pretty cool, you know. But, um, I like to say, well, I remember that, I remember that, I remember that, I remember that. So, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, I'd rather see myself, you know, going back to that date and watching it on a, on a video than going out and, you know, looking at a picture of it. I mean, it, you know, it might be something funny or, or, or cute or whatever. So that's kind of the reason why I'm big on videos. So that's as far as that goes. So, um, just to clear everything up, I am, too, I do the shows, Breakfast with Jeff and all these. I do them for my friends. Um, a lot of my friends will watch and pay attention, which is fine. Um, it pretty much tells you what's going on, what's new, blah, blah, blah. Um, so basically, kind of get an idea what's going on with me. Um, and then as I started to do the shows, I thought it'd be more good for more other people who might want to watch it and everything like that. So that's kind of how that is. Um, but that's is kind of as far as that goes. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get kick it off here a little bit because like I said, I am starting to rant a little bit and I'm starting to run out of things to say. But um, just to clear everything up, I um. I want to say thank you to my viewers, the people that do view my videos, I appreciate it. Um, to the friends, the friends that do watch, thanks. Um, to the people that don't, and to the people that are new that are watching it, welcome and thank you. Uh, programming notes, I don't really know. Basically, um, there is a big, big programming note coming up for Jeff's Journal fans. Mark it on your calendar, June 19th, 2013. They were going to be doing a special Jeff's Journal from Duluth, Minnesota. And it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to do all kinds of good videos. I'm going to do videotape as much and stuff as I can. So if you want to check that out, like I said, you can do yourself a favor. Go to, um, like I said, just go to, just check all of your social sites. Mark it on your calendar. I'll say one more time. June 19, 2013. We're going to be doing a special Jeff's Journal from Duluth, Minnesota. I'm going to go through all kinds of sites. So make sure that you mark it on your calendar. And, and that will be a special program date. Now the recording of the show will be on June 19. So we will not get done until June 21st. So I'd say probably 23rd or 24th. It will be posted on. So ch check for the 24th of June to see. Um, like I said, it will be as soon as possible to get the thing up. But like I said, June 19th, like I said, expect to see a Jeff's Journal um, from Duluth, Minnesota. And so that's kind of something there. That's what I know as well. Um, that's pretty much, that's the biggest one right there. So we'll just let you know um, about that. 
So I think that's about it. I don't think I have anything else that I have to uh, talk about. So I'm just going to say thank you to my viewers. My new viewers, thank you guys for watching. My friends, colleagues, whatever, thank you guys for sticking by me and, and, and watching my videos and just listening. That's all I... That's the whole point about doing a video is to have people that listen. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to check this off. I want to say thank you to all my viewers. and I know I keep thanking you guys, but I, I really do appreciate um, you guys watching. So this has been Breakfast with Jeff. We'll call this copyrights. And uh, don't forget, uh, Marta, again, one more time. Mark on your calendar, June 19th will be the, t with the tape date. I'll be giving you updates from... Like I said, I'll give you updates before we'll be having a special, you know, recording just to get you. We will have actually we eighties. We will actually get you previewed before we go ahead and do the show, so you will get the chance to know when we're going to start recording. And then I'd say somewhere probably on, I'd say probably twenty first, sometime at that time you should see the new episode. But I'll keep you updated. Just check your social networks for that. And it'll be called Jeff's Journal Duluth, Minnesota. So that will be the name of it. So when you want to check it out and stuff like that. That won't be until the 19th. The recording of that show won't be until the 19th of June. So until then, folks, I want to say thank you. I appreciate all my viewers and everybody that watches. I will see you next time for Breakfast with Jeff. This is called Copyrights. So long.